بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This is a second video which we explain to you on the equation of ellipse Let us go to the first type of ellipse which is ellipse with the major axis parallel to x axis Alright, so first of all, let's identify our center So our center is at the middle point here which is your center is h Okay. When we have our center here, we can identify that we have a major axis in the horizontal line which is parallel to our x. So let me highlight here. This is your major axis and now your major axis is the line y equal to k. Let us go to the minor axis. Okay, so your minor axis will be opposite to your major axis and it will cut through also the point of the center so let me highlight here this is now your minor axis where your minor axis is at the line x equal to h when we are done with that let us go to the next point which is your vertices Okay, so where is your vertices? Vertices is the end point here which cuts through your major axis. So you should have two vertices here, V1 and also V2. Okay, so it doesn't matter whether you want to name the left hand side as V1 or you want to name the right hand side as V1. It doesn't matter. The most important thing is if you name one of the vertices to be V1, another part here should be V2. So this is V1. And another part here is V2. So now our question is, what will happen to the coordinate of this vertex? Okay, so this is where we want to rewrite what is the distance between your center and vertices? So this is the distance A. It's the same to the other part here. Distance from center to this vertices here should be the value of A. Let's see here. When you want to go to the left-hand side, your x-coordinate will move. Okay, so the coordinate of x, which is originally h, will now move to the back as much as distance a. Therefore, the x coordinate now will become h minus a because you have gone back as much as distance a. How about the y coordinate? y coordinate doesn't move. We are still at the same line here. Therefore, the y coordinate is just k. Let us see now for the coordinate of v2 here. Originally, you have center hk, but now your x coordinate of h will go to the right as much as distance a. Therefore, we can rewrite our coordinate as h plus a because we have go to the right. Okay, your distance must be plus a and then your y coordinate doesn't change is still at k so that is coordinate for v1 and also v2 now let's move on to the coordinate of foci okay let's see where is our foci this is your f1 this is your f2 so again if you rename this part here as V1, this foci here should be F1. If this is V2, this foci here should be F2. Alright, so now how about the distance? We need to identify the distance in order for us to rewrite our coordinate. So let's see, center... To foci, the distance is C, 
and on your right hand side center to foci this distance is as much as c so let's see here what is the coordinate of f1 so originally this is hk so coordinate of x have gone back as much as distance c therefore your coordinate is h minus c but your y coordinates doesn't change it is still at the point k so that is the coordinate of your f1 let's see here the coordinate of our f2 originally this is x coordinate is h but now you have go to the right as much as c distance therefore the coordinate have become h plus c k plus because you are going to the right and then comma y coordinate doesn't change it is still k so we can conclude this is the coordinate for f1 and this is the coordinate for f2 now after we have done finding coordinate for vertices and the coordinate for foci now we can find out the coordinate for our co-vertices okay, so where is co-vertices this is the point of co-vertices where your ellipse have cut through your minor axis okay so let me identify this distance here so distance from center to the end of this point here is b and you can identify another one this is also the coordinate of b so let's find out what is the coordinate originally this is hk but you have go up as much as distance b so this shows us that our h which is our x coordinate doesn't change we are still hanging at the same place x coordinate h right however our y coordinate have gone up as much as distance b therefore for our k we need to plus b what is the coordinate for other covertices here so now h doesn't change we are still at the same point same x coordinate which is h however our k have gone down as much as distance b therefore our y coordinate is k minus b so we have finished writing all the coordinates which is important in our ellipse therefore let us summarize here we have the major axis here at y equal to k we have minor axis at x equal to h and we have center at h k we have vertices at h plus and minus a comma k so this is h minus a k this is h plus a k then we have a foci here so coordinate of foci is h plus minus c comma k so this is h minus c k this is f2 h plus c k and we also have our co-vertices coordinate here first one is h k plus b another one is h k minus b now let me draw your attention here at these details you see that a must be more than b so we can see here clearly that distance of a is surely larger than distance of b and it's also mentioned that both of them must be more than zero so since this is distance for sure a and b should be more than zero so what happened here is it's written here you have a pythagorean theorem 
a squared equal to b squared plus c squared. So we can see that a is the largest here compared to b and c. Therefore, your hypotenuse now is a. So later on, we want to produce the equation of this ellipse here, which is major axis parallel to x-axis. We will use this formula here in order to calculate the value of a, b, or c. Then, the next thing I want to highlight here, you have the length of major axis here. It is 2. So let me show you here. This is the length of your major axis. So this part here is A. This distance here is A. So total distance of your major axis is A plus A, which is 2A. Let us see the next one. Length of your minor axis here is written as 2B. So let me show you. This is the length of your minor axis. So this part here is B. Another part here is distance B. So B plus B, the total is 2B. So that's all on the graph of an ellipse with major axis parallel to x-axis.